everyone, it's me, Jenny again, and today I'm gonna share with you how I got this glowy latte makeup look that's TikTok viral. Welcome back to my channel. Let's not waste time today and let's jump right into my routine. <laughs> okay, let's get latte makeup. So we're gonna start with the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. Just a little bit dabble on your face to get that glow. I just had sunblock on because it's part of my routine, but you know, the skin tint I'm using today actually has uh, sunscreen, but I just like extra sun care. Now that that's done, I'm gonna put on Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. A little bit dabble here, okay. A little bit double there. Okay. All right. I think we got the glow. <laughs> All right. Now the glow is done. Let's get it on with the skin tint first. So I'm using Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Skin Tint with SPF 15. Uh, that also contains Pro Vitamin D and Cactus Flower in shade Golden 2. Okay, I am actually new to skin using skin tint, but I'm gonna use the method that how I use for uh, sunblock. So just two finger length, like this, and then swipe, 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 swipe. Okay, one thing about me having a Korean mom, what she taught me is, you know, she would like slap my hand if I'm too harsh on my skin. Um, so ever since I was a kid, I was told to be like treating your face like a baby. So that's what I'm doing here. And as you can see, this golden tint has a little bit more color. So it's gonna bring out the golden color for the latte makeup now. So this is like a cheat sheet, I guess, for me to do like, instead of doing a bronzer all over my face, you know, sometimes I also would like mix in a liquid bronzer, but I think just knowing that this is like skin, for skin formula in it, I like using this. And also, I know I'm putting it with my hand. I think skin tint is meant to put it with your hand because the warmth of your fingers warm up the product and it melts well into my skin. See that? Is it? It's not just me, is it? <laughs> All right. I always do this like clap thing. I love myself. I love myself. Kind <laughs> of. Don't mind me. Now that that's done, let's put on Bobbi Brown Skin Corrector Stick in Light Peach. So I'm just covering naturally with any areas that might be needing some help. Okay. Again, I'm gonna go with my fingers. So it's just like highlighting the high points of your face and it's not too much. It's like natural as of now. And the goal is to look like you just have a tan, not makeup, right? So. Okay, are we all blended in? Okay, cool. So I feel like I have little bags today. So I think I'm gonna use extra concealer, which is in uh, Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer in shade 415. Just this area. Mm, 
um i know i have some breakouts on this side but i'm just gonna let that breathe because like the whole point is to make look like i don't have much makeup on i'm just gently dabbling my finger so that i get this thing Okay, one thing you need to know about the Bobbi Brown's concealer stick, it's like for hiding colors, I feel like. It's not really a concealer concealer, it's like a light to medium coverage. So if you need extra, you should be using more concealer. Alright, I'm gonna be using the same Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. Just This is in shade 260 and I'm just doing it a little bit to bring out the high points that I want to highlight. I think I'm going to put a little bit more there. So it's kind of like, you don't have to do this, but I like to like kind of mimic what I did with, um, do we have it all over my face? Yes. Mm. All right, I like to do the same thing or that I like to kind of mimic what I did with the concealer stick only for extra coverage. This one you might want to use like a beauty blender. Well, not, I'm gonna use a wet it puffer instead of beauty blender because my beauty blender is a little old and I forgot to get it. <laughs> so it's on its way, hold on. Let me get the puffer. All right, got the puffer. It's nice. This is wet, wet it by the way. So just that little dabble. Also, something about wetted like sponge or like beauty blender, I don't know. Like you can use your full fingers, I believe. But I personally like this feel because like cold, wetted sponge or beauty blender, it gives me like extra hydration, I feel like. like Sometimes putting on layering sometimes needs a little extra hydration in between um, without making your makeup look cakey. Then we do not want cakey. Okay, I think we're pretty good. So now we're gonna use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Press Powder in neutral and just do like you can do hot like stronger swipes, but I just like to do like only areas that I smudge a lot, which is like under where my mascara right here. See the difference? Like the places I did not use this, the powder, it's like still glowy, right? So we're not trying to get rid of the glow. We're just trying to kind of control certain surfaces that I get oily because I have combination skin. And combination skin is not as easy as it sounds to maintain because some days you might be dry. Sometimes you might be too oily. So that's what combination means to me, at least for me. <laughs> All right, not that we are very well situated. Let's get into a little more coloring, yeah? So I'm not gonna lie, this is a cheap palette that actually I love all the colors of and I travel a lot with. It's from Physicians Formula Butter Dream Team Face Palette. And guys, these colors and pigment, it's quite amazing. I traveled a lot with this um, for the past few months now, and it definitely shows wear and tear. Okay, so we're just, oh, I should tell you this. I'm using the Matte Minoy Butter Bronzer. It's just a bronzer, but you're gonna do a windshield wiper kind of back and forth. You know, vibe. Okay. Ta da! It's not much, but that's the point. And then we're gonna do the windshield wiper here too. Okay. Okay. So. Ooh, I got heavier on that side than this side. Okay. Full disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist. I just like to follow trends and I like trying new trends, okay? So I hope this is like a fun tutorial and for you to try it with me. You know, if you have your stuff out, watch this video to just try it with me. That's all. Okay, so you can use a thin brush like this, 
but you could also use i mean i'm usually lazy and grab it does give you precision to grab more product out but i like to just like use the same brush and like kind of highlight it like this right okay and then so you've already put well i already put my concealer this area so you want to avoid that because that's like trying to look dark circles again but like kind of midwear to here is like where it emphasizes the color so you're going to go in and do that and also it's just taking longer because i'm explaining this to you but when you're doing it by yourself it shouldn't take that long i usually takes me about five to seven minutes to the full face just so you know and my boyfriend thinks i <laughs> i'm a champion in getting ready the fastest in the whole wide world so that should tell you how quick these routines are for me okay so we're gonna take the the butter highlighter more <laughs> i'm gonna try to say murumuru murumuru butter highlighter and you're just gonna dab it on your finger and you just go boop, 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 boop. and then you're gonna go boop, 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 boop. okay okay it's more glowy now all right let's continue with the eyes yeah so we're gonna use the lancome's lancome Sil booster xl for the purpose of making sure i don't <laughs> miss any lash i'm gonna use a mirror but pretty much i'm using the booster xl and i'm gonna coat my lashes because these lashes need to get fired up Sometimes I kind of do like a little pause like this and then do it because my lashes naturally go down. I have pretty long lashes, but they go down. So it's pain in the butt. <sighs> but I used to do a lot of extensions and I kind of stopped. It's costly and it's like really hard um, maintenance. And when I sweat in the gym, they all like turn like this sometimes, the sideways and you know, like, I just don't have time or the budget to keep going to last places. Props to you if you love it, but I personally like to sometimes just go bare. Okay, doing the bottom lashes now. Okay. All right, they're all coated. You know what, always, every time I do this booster, it reminds me of Narnia movie, the evil witch so <laughs> i'm always like oh, you kind of look like evil witch anyway so <laughs> we're gonna move on to lancome idol lash it's is actually waterproof mascara it is my summer favorite not gonna lie it's one of the best mascara i've been using lately so i'm gonna continue i'm gonna like roll it out like this so go in roll in, roll, in, roll. And then it kind of gets thicker. And then this too, like you might want to, if you have straight lashes like me, um, and you want a little curl with the, using the curler. Oh, maybe I might have done too much here. It's a little clumpy. Much better, okay. All right, so if you have straight lashes like me, you could hold it like this. Like literally just hold it for a second. Okay, maybe two, two seconds. And a little get of pressure like this. Oh, look at that, right? Okay, we're gonna do bottom lashes. Is it just me or everyone sticks their tongue out when they do bottom lashes? You could also hold it like this down, like how I do it too. I just see, like, I love lash curler, but I'm lazy. And sometimes you only got five minutes to get ready. And you just want to still look cute. That's all. Okay. How are you like that? Yeah? All right. Roll again. Roll again. Okay. 
It's also good to like vibrate your lashes like zigzag like this. My friend June, when we were kids, like we're talking like middle school, high school, like taught me that doing mascara like that makes your lashes look fuller. So I, I mean, I know I spend a lot of my time on my lashes, but you know, I think lashes are so important to your face. So I do that. So gonna hold a little, go cool. up, hold a little. Cool, right? All right, and we're gonna do the corner. Uh-huh. So in Korean, we call double lids sankapur, and my left side comes and goes. So I am technically, I guess, monolids because they're not permanent, but there are days where they're even. There are days that are not even. And there are days where I have to roll my eyes like for five minutes straight to get my sankapur back in place. <laughs> Fun fact. Okay. Lashes are done. So we're gonna do more contouring on the face. The thing about latte makeup is to like make it look bronzy. So you're gonna still use blush, but well, I still use blush, but I use more bronzer. And these brushes from Anissa Beauty are magical. This contouring brush, it gives you even pressure. So it doesn't get you too weird looking, I guess. Like it's just simple. You know, you know, cut the chin or jawline, right? Like follow your chin line to like follow like this. This is how people look slimmer. And then like that, and then you have to blend it in, right? So you... <laughs> All right. Sometimes when I go like this, today I look a little better, but sometimes... Rock like this, right? So what I do is I go under, you see that like line here? So I try to match that by coloring this in. But it's like special days, not every day, cause I'm lazy. And then I just let it fall on my neck. Okay. So now we're gonna just finish this line. But like, you wanna be still slight. And then this is the highest point of the cheekbones and then like right under like this line is where you want to get bronzer. Because you want this to like lift up your cheekbones. Also, I feel like bronzer wise, maybe I might be wrong, but this is like for my like rounder face. I don't know if that would be the right spot for you if you have longer face, but this elongates my face. So I would think that it's not really for you. Just FYI. All right, all right. And also do it in an angle because if you do it straight, then it makes your face look wider, not like more. Do you see how it looks like straight face, right? This side. Let me do a little more so I can see more. See the side little looks lifted than this side in general, right? Okay, so we're gonna continue and do this on this side. Cut the cheekbone. For some reason, I maybe it's because it's like right, I'm right-handed, but I always do like contour better on the right side than my left side. It's always, or maybe my cheekbones are uneven, I don't know. And then we're gonna fill it in, make my face more bronzer friendly. Okay, so you know how last year it was all about sunburn look? The difference between the sunburn look and latte look is that instead of using more blush, you use more bronzer. So you can do this if you want to, but I'm taking a fluffy highlighter brush and I'm just gonna do well, this is part of the point of them. I guess you, you'll do this because it's kind of weird. So you're gonna like do cheekbones and a little bit of like 
you know where you like if you did that trend last year you will understand what i'm saying but pretty much like any points that were considered more like um where you put like you know pinky coral or very bright blush you're putting more bronzer it still have different pigments on your face see i'm putting bronzer but it still looks a little um reddish because you have different pigments on your face and reacts to different colors differently around your face so that's kind of what okay and then i don't know i'm kind of feeling greedy today so we're gonna do a little more you know oh oh okay let's go heavy-handed let's go let's go let's go my korean mom watching this she'll freak out that i put a gigantic tan on my nose <laughs> hi Alma. <laughs> okay so there's a lot of bronzer going on here and then we're gonna move into using the Murumuru Muru butter blush which is this coral color over here and we're gonna use you know okay let's use the anisa uh, blush brush but we're gonna do like very dab dab shake okay and then just very high points only Ooh. okay all right i forgot to play highlighter on the my corners of my eye because that makes you look like you're awake that's not Hailey bieber style but it's Jenny style. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Next. I'm going to go with the clear brow gel. And then we're going to lift the brows to the skies. Something cool about also lifting your brows so high. I noticed that it also makes your face look a little lifted too. See the difference? Okay, and then my brows are living life. Cool. Something about my eyebrows, it's like they're straight. My leg, my um, hair is really straight, but they don't behave well. <laughs> they're like, we have a personality kind of feel. So we're gonna do a little lecturing over here. Okay disciplined eyebrows <laughs> all right next let's get some lip liner all right so i've been actually loving this color it's called meow from winky lux it's waterproof long wear lip liner and i'm just gonna mark my lips right here then mark my lips here little below the lines little below the lines so you could draw the lips to be a little bigger. And then mm. my lips look so fat. So we're gonna just use lip gloss. You can put I saw that Hailey Bieber put like bronzer on her lip gloss, but for the sake of like convenience and I don't do that, we're gonna just use Lancome's Juicy Tubes, the original Juicy Tube. Hello, nostalgic feel um, in shade Spring Flame. And there, mm -hmm. goes a long way. Mm -hmm. 
and ooh, look at how my lips look. And here you have the latte makeup all done for monoliths. <laughs> Okay, so this is the final look. I've been filming all day with this look. What do you think? Did you find the product to be very relevant for you? Are you going to try this viral TikTok trend viral? I know it's still trending. It's usually my go-to makeup. And I think the last year was like a bit of a sunburn look. But I've been getting a lot of like, oh, you look like you're too sunburned kind of like vibe. I've been getting a lot of comments from people I know that I look like I'm sunburned all the time. So I kind of love this latte look, you know? And I think it's very flattering on camera as well as in person. So I think this is my, this is it for me, at least for a while. And it looks very natural. It doesn't look like I've overdone it. So, and I could still eat food and just put lip gloss on, good to go. So yeah, if you're also trying the latte makeup, viral look then let me know if you're trying which products with what and how you're doing it differently from mine let me know in the comments i would love to hear maybe tips and tricks that i could take from you guys um thanks for watching this video thumbs up for me if you found this video helpful or entertaining or if you just want to be nice <laughs> and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this talk soon